Hello and welcome to the introduction to Microsoft Small Basic module. Uh, make sure you do like and subscribe. Because some of us are not currently in school due to remote learning, um, etc. And given the situation, we're not using the same uh, programming package that we would use in school. So currently we're going to use uh, Microsoft Small Basic, which is accessible online through our website. I have posted the links to it in the booklets. Um, so make sure you have a look at that and check the links in the description below as well. Um, so Microsoft Small Basic is a programming package created by Microsoft. Uh, it's been out since 2008 and we'll be using this to learn about textual programming. So how we can use textual programming. So programming through instructions, typing in the commands to carry out various uh, scenarios uh, and solve problems and sequence instructions. So putting things in order. One of the reasons why uh, in terms of the bigger picture we learn about programming is it creates a lot of uh, transferable skills. Programming is, has become very uh, important in society. Everything around us uh, is using a computer and it needs a programmer in order for those particular softwares or uh, issues or scenarios that need to be dealt with. So transferable skills that you can use in other subjects as well as thinking in the future for your careers, uh, problem solving and logic and sequencing. Uh, these are quite good. So you, with programming, you're able to, to work on your problem solving skills. Uh, logic and sequencing, so understanding what comes first and why, what comes next, why does this come here, etc. You also will improve uh, upon your keyboard and mouse skills as well. So you'll be doing various tasks which are, have been broken down into mini videos. Uh, some will last four minutes, five minutes, it just depends on the tasks. And each booklet will have a set of tasks with the codes that are there. And there's some challenge tasks in each booklet as well. So make sure you do refer to the booklets where all the information uh, and the links to the videos are uh, available. And make sure that when you've uh, completed the task, you check your code to make sure that it's all correct. Uh, make sure you type in capital letters, uh, check your syntax, which is checking your um, spelling and making sure the full stops or the speech marks are in the correct places. Um, make sure you run the, the program and check it through thoroughly uh, before you take a screenshot of your code, which needs to be uh, uploaded into your assignment. So every task you complete, you, you need to put, put a screenshot or a photo uh, of the co completed code onto the assignment for, for me to see and give you some uh, feedback on your uh, success criteria uh, for this topic. Thank you.